Hey everybody, Astronaut Boy here. It's time for episode 10 of my uh, Minecraft uh, series. You said it, Buster. Yep. And um, so if, if you look, yes, I finally have the beloved scaffolding. So that means only one thing. I found a, a jungle biome. And then I start playing around with it. I mean, uh, I, I really love how, um, my goodness, this makes things so much easier uh, to maneuver and stuff. Uh, and it just, ah, uh, it's, I, I still, I still need to, you know, take the time to get the pieces and finish this bloody roof. But at least now I have the, uh, the scaffolding uh so that um you know i can i can actually uh maneuver around and do stuff uh that is if i can find where the down uh, is i think it's no oh, that's not it <laughs> well sometimes you know where you're doing sometimes you don't there is a way to get down from this i thought it was right here but apparently I uh, have uh, screwed up. Oh, there it is. All right. So you got to be in the right position to go up or down the scaffolding. But yeah, now then, don't have to worry about building dirt piles and then deconstructing them and building dirt piles and deconstructing them. You know, I can provide and I know where to bloody heck. That, that was why I left that one marker there, just so it would mark. Um, hey, this is where you need to go down. But um, apparently I was not smart enough to do anything. So... And then the other thing I'm going to do is fix this chimney so that it's got smoke coming out of the top. I've, I've watched videos on how other people do it. They put trap doors. Uh, they, they'll put like, so I'll take like, knock off one level of the brick there maybe. And then put trap doors all around. And uh, the campfire in the middle. And then maybe a half slab or something on top. And then smoke will come out and it'll look like smoke's coming out of the chimney. So, um... So if you remember in the last episode, we had some fun. Uh, I murdered an innocent uh, wandering trader. And so I had uh, one of his llamas was spitting like crazy at me. Um, <laughs> and I had too much fun uh, messing with the llama. But they've calmed down. And then I, I drug them all over here to... This is where I was going to have the horses anyway. Uh, so this is where I just have... Well, okay. I think I will now have uh, llamas and horses in here. Why not? They're both uh, rideable creatures. Although I don't know if you can steer llamas. I, I need to look into that. And of course, we got a little chicken there. And I think... I think I'm going to take this tree down... I don't have it in my inventory. Uh, let's go get it. All right. So the video didn't want to pause for a minute there, the recording. But I ran back to my uh, place and I picked up a jungle sapling. So I'm going to take this tree out. Don't be hawking on me, dear llama. All right. So I have a jungle sapling that I'm gonna plant right there. Um, now the leaves are gonna decay and then we'll pick up, you know, whatever stuff may fall from uh, down here eventually. But anyway, I still kinda like, I don't know what else I wanna do on this back side as far as uh, decorating, but I'll worry about that when I get the roof on uh, this house here. I still like this, this little pool thing. Um, it's still amazing to me that, you know, this used to be, you know, massively wooded, hilly area, and I had a little trail uh, coming down to what was a natural body of water uh, just to get some, uh, um, my initial water, actually, for when I was uh, starting to farm. And then it became this, so. So there is that, so. Uh, yeah. Oh. So, we'll see what happens, uh, as this, uh, the leaves decay. 
All right, so the leaves are slowly decaying, but we got another one of these to drop. Um, so I have a couple of birch saplings, so... Uh, I don't know. Maybe another one falls. Maybe another one doesn't. Um, not going to worry about it at this point. Hey, spitter? I don't know which one of you was, was a spitter. I don't know if you can make these guys produce baby llamas or not. I need to look into that, to be honest. I honestly don't know. There is. I should uh, try to get some baby llamas. All right, so we'll pop this in here. I don't know if I have any in the main house or not. I've got some vines and stuff uh, from our jungle visit, which is kind of cool. I actually need, I should farm up or plant vines somewhere around here. I may plant some, I don't know. I've got scaffolding. I could um, plant some. Hmm. I have an idea. Let's see what happens. If for the short term. I don't know if they'll grow on the side here. I'm going to find out though. But we'll see. Okay. So we went out and got some vines. I planted a few up here to see how they'll grow. And then I planted a few along the wall here. Um, we'll see. We'll come back and check later just to see how they grow. Supposedly, they can grow on walls and stuff. Uh, when I got mine, they were hanging from trees and growing on the side of trees in the jungle biome. So, uh, And speaking of which, uh, yeah, let's go upstairs. Let's go up to the uh, upper level of the... Uh, uh, town and check out my uh, bamboo grove okay so we'll go uh, I'll show it off later what we did in the nether but this is my little bamboo grove and man these things grow tall and you don't really need a lot of bamboo oh, I, I got one super tall stalk in the jungle and brought it back and then plant them because you can plant them anywhere as you see and then they just grow like mad. And then you can cut them down like uh, sugar cane, uh, you know, at the at the one level here. So if I bring back up my HUD and uh, just do the sword. So instead of cutting at the base, you cut one above. So all the other ones come down and then you get just like boatload of, uh, of um, pieces. And then, like, if I wanted to, you know, I could farm those out. Now, this cut stalk will will just start growing again. So, because all these all these stalks were cut down to this level, and then, um, so I have tons of bamboo now. I, you know, and all I needed was just some just to get some scaffolding. Uh, what I used the rest of the bamboo for, I don't know, but I am gonna leave it here. And I kind of, I just like. I don't know. There's a part of me that actually wants to expand this out just a bit more. Um, just for the fun of it. Just because I just like the idea of having this little uh, mini bamboo forest. Um, I think it's kind of cool. And and not even be in the jungle biome. So. Um, well, I guess we could pay a visit to our guy up there. Um, there's only one now. One of them actually managed to escape. So, let's go pay him a visit. Huh. Okay, so our farmer is still up here. You know, I have no idea. Huh. Um, I guess I could have brought something up here to huh. trade with him. Suspicious stew. <laughs> I have no idea huh. what suspicious stew is, but uh, whatever. So, I don't know. Maybe eventually he'll go down on his own, but... Um, huh. The other reason to come up here was just kind of get a look out uh, over the lands again and, you know, kind of see what there is to see. Uh, you know, for right now, you know, I don't have any plans out that way. Um, actually, if you look out here, so this is where my fish pond is, you know, and you got the, the hog pen and the cow pen is hidden behind this tree here. Um, 
and then this is where I want my wheat field down over there and then Aww. I think I said that I was gonna put sheep up over here uh, and then there's the crater Aww. what I'm gonna call crater pond where all the the uh, bloody creepers uh, keep Aww. finding me and then <laughs> there's my uh, obsidian forest back there that's hilarious uh, that's so funny but anyway um, while while I was kind of ah. doing some I don't remember exactly why I was doing some exploring around but I've discovered because I'd, ah. I'd never really gone back in this area and you see that little lava area back there and ah. then there's these stones floating above it um, so this is a pretty dense forest ah. you know fairly dense and the lava there had burned all the trees ah in a circle around it and so there but there were certain little ah. tree pieces still floating in the air so i grabbed all them cleared it out um ah. you know and i think we'll go down there and take a look see because at some point in time i want to build something there ah. i just don't know what uh but yeah so but i do like the look uh of uh, what i've done ah. up above except we've done some more clearing out here eventually will farm the obsidian wow. forest maybe but there's something kind of funny about having all these um these old uh, uh portals uh from when the nether portal system was broken because i had to reset it in the nether so and then wow i mean that just you look see even as we're as we're watching the bamboo forest the bamboo stalks keep growing taller and taller so that is pretty freaking wild and then I kind of like the now that I've got scaffolding, it it it, it helps make the yeah. incomplete house feel better if that makes sense. Uh, because now yeah. it's like, oh, okay, it's under construction, not you know he's a lazy sod. <laughs> yeah. Even though I am a lazy sod, actually I'm a busy sod. Um, yeah. But yeah. And then we'll move that wheat field out of there and, you know, possibly turn that into more cane stuff or probably, actually, I'll probably just put, make, make it vegetables. I don't know, though. There's something to be said about more cane because then I can uh, make paper and, and trade with uh, uh, a villager. Um, you know, I really should try to work, figure out how to breed villagers uh, so that we get some more in here because I could, I could use I could use a villager that would sell me uh, uh, the books uh, to uh, uh, enchantment books so all right let's go down and uh, then we will see ooh that door is open I want it closed I think that's to the outside wow I really am gonna to have to secure this. Uh, now that I know villagers can get in and out of this, um, I need to really put a gate over here that I don't have. Let's go down. Go out here, yeah. Uh, well, I'm trying to get out. There we go. Yeah, a villager could get out here and then kill himself because they're idiots. Um, Aesthetically wise, I'd rather have the door than a gate, but you know, whatever. I guess you know, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna have to do stuff that's not really aesthetic. Well, there's another kind of door, I'll look into it, you know, with a button. Uh, maybe that's what I look into. I've never, I've never done those before, so I don't really, I don't really know how that all works yet. Um, but we're coming to the pig pen leap out or we won't we'll leap out Woo and nemo I, i'm guessing nemo now is stuck behind this and he's too stupid to figure out how to get out but as long as he stays alive i guess that's fine you know we'll leave him alone i still like i still like this fish pond and while we're over here we may as well Whoops, did not mean to do that. Come on, seriously. Yep, the cow wants some. Um, that's right. Woo, look at all those hearts. 
Give me some of that XP. You know, those baby cows coming. Ooh, doggy. Beef. It's what's for dinner. All right. All right, that's enough. You've had your fun for today. Now raise your kids and enjoy your deal. I still say I'm going to put, eventually, I'll build some kind of, like, barn or, or pen kind of thing back here. And then I'll, I'll still have cattle roaming free here, but I'll probably have some sort of a, a stupid cow crusher deal just to easily get leather and all that other fun stuff. So, hey, nighttime approaches, so let's resume this in day. All right. Now day has resumed, so I still haven't done um, anything about the crater deal other than walk into the bush I planted in the corner. Um, but I'm thinking, as I as I as I said in, in the last episode, um, I'm thinking. Oops, actually, actually, I do want that there. Um. I was actually thinking maybe I put like a water source here to act like a waterfall or maybe maybe even up a little bit higher I don't know so it looks like there's a waterfall coming down into this um, and then of course we'll have to get some uh, grasses and stuff sea grasses uh, for the bottom uh, and then of course a bunch of fish and stuff um, so Ooh, why am I getting out so all right so we'll head back uh, to that back corner and give it a, a look okay so I'm back in the back corner but I've had to put the HUD back up because there's a skeleton around here somewhere don't know where but as you see there's a lava pool and then you know I don't know what was up here to cause these rocks to be floating up like they are but for some reason I saw this and I'm thinking to myself you know, there's, there's got to be something I can put here. I don't know what. Um, that can make use of everything kind of as it is, but then, I don't know. Some sort of a structure? I, I just don't know. A house, maybe? I, I You know, I don't know. But it just looks so neat. So, I, I, I cleared a path, as you see, just, you know, so I'd have the tower in sight, so it just made... It would be a kind of a reminder that this is back here uh, for whenever I actually get back here and uh, get to do stuff. Um, it's kind of just a neat little area. I don't, I don't know what about it that enthralls me so, but yeah, it's just something about it. It just, it just seems interesting. Um, actually, maybe not a house, maybe some sort of an industrial feeling kind of something with... Um, with uh, 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 furnaces and, and things like that um, would be kind of cool. So, anyway. Let's head back to town. Okay, so we're at the uh, branch mine entrance at the village. And I did put a gate up here um, after the uh, bloody uh, villagers got in the tower. Like I said, I'm going to have to put gates or something. Now, the thing I changed down here was the steps. So now then there's steps everywhere. I don't think I showed this off in the last episode. Um, but now we've got steps everywhere, which is kind of cool. Um, it just makes it just makes going up and down the stairs a little bit smoother. Um, probably if I knocked out maybe a little bit more of that stuff above, uh, it would be smoother still so and then we've got the old uh, branch mine which if we take off here uh, I did add some more you know I did put some flooring in here to kind of make this yeah I don't know just uh, like a okay this is a central work area and I put all these furnaces and I have uh, stone I basically been doing cobblestone uh, basically so I could get uh, XP uh, I think that's pretty much all I've been doing and I've got some more work chest and then you know just to make some more of these stones uh, I put the saw in here too so so you know we've got a lot of 
materials that are uh, piling up in here. I think I used this one. The idea in this one is more to uh, come uh, for stuff to take home uh, than anything. So, so we go down to the end. You see the the branch mine has gone quite, 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 quite far. Um, and so uh, this is where we're at. You know, yeah, I'll, I'll get to uh, farm all that. When 1.17 drops, um, what I've already hit will stay the same. So I'm not worried about losing these iron pieces and stuff. Um, and any other diamonds in here. Uh, not so much worried about that either. Um, the It's only Fortune 1. I wish I had Fortune 3, but... I do have a diamond pickaxe with fortune one. So whenever I find diamonds, I do switch uh, to get, extract them with uh, fortune one. Same thing with emeralds. And then when 1.17 drops and I end up going into new areas that uh, are freshly generated and thus the ore distribution changes and stuff, um, you know, we'll do some uh, other changes in how we mine. Also, we'll need to... Fortune will be uh, more important because of gold and iron. Or, you know, you won't be picking up the blocks themselves without silk touch. You'll be uh, getting um, the, uh, 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 the actual mineral out of the rock. To smelt down and all the other fun stuff, so... Um, but yeah, so I went way down just to do whatever I kind of want. I, I may have mentioned this before, but I almost want to put, since this is a mine, uh, mine, uh, rail carts down here and just have something where I can just like zip down faster. I mean, it's not absolutely needed, but anyway, some of these, some of these branches, are short and some of them are super long because we go past caves or we touch on cave systems and I'm able to just push straight through uh, until I hit the next obstacle usually a lava lake of some kind and then I backtrack and then I, I try to uh, make things safe uh, when I hit a cave by building up some sidewalls, some overage, but making it so I can still see out the sides a bit, but where no mob can get in. So I can, so if I go down there, it's like, oh yeah, 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 there's a cave thing. Uh, cause I think there's like a big old ravine, uh, down, the, down these right now, but I just, I just don't feel like exploring it, to be honest. I'm, I'm not much of a caver. The only thing I'd want to get is find a mine um an abandoned mine or a uh dungeon with a spawner in it uh preferably one that i can preserve uh to make a uh, a farm <coughs> of sorts out of so all right so let's head back up okay so let's go into the nether i did have um an incident before i moved the portal of a, well, actually, no, it was after I moved the portal. Of a zombie pigman, I think. Um, coming in and, and getting to me. And if you look out there, that's where the old portal was out in that area. So, I don't know. Those guys may be able to actually leap into here. I actually designed this little barricade to keep uh, regular opponents out. Um, but those guys are kind of small, but well, they're kind of big too. Um, I could go in there and, and battle them all. I'm actually, um, may as well, I guess. Just to get the, uh, loot in the, whatever. Where'd the other one go? There he is. There's Big Mama Jama. Ooh, he jumped on me. That's what I think about you jumping. There you go. Come on, babies. That's right. Come on, come on. Back up, you little thingies. Woohoo! Woohoo! That's right. 
Whoa, they're beating me. <laughs> this is what you get when you get cocky. You get like a whole bunch of uh, nibblers nibbling you to death. But I'll, I'll take all that juicy XP. Although I'm over 30, so I uh, need to kind of be careful and not go too nuts. Goodbye. Did I get lava cream? Look, or whatever it was. I don't think I did. All right. So what I'll do is I'll go back over here and we'll block this off again. But we'll put it under there and then this was security area. So that the zombie piglin came from down there and then he came in and went into the deal. So, um, so anyway, what we did, what I did was I went and I, I said in the last one I was going to go up. So I went up, 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 up. And then unfortunately what happened was I ran into lava, which is why that's there. So I was like, okay, it's not dripping now. Um, I think it's, I think it's because the lava source isn't there. Um, but I hit the lava source. So I kept going up and then so it flowed down. So I just like had to, I had to scramble. Um, I was a lot higher. It was actually quite a bit up uh, where I hit the lava. So I was like, well, okay. And I kind of cleared a little bit out here. And then I said, well, all right. So then I started going out here. Then you look, there's another, um, I put this up to protect me, uh, but you see there's there's definitely uh, fun stuff down there. More of this kind of materials and stuff. So, and then, you know, there it is again. And I said, okay, we're far away from the lava now. Let's go up, Mr. Smocker. And then I ran into the ceiling. We're close to it. So, yeah. So that's the top of the nether. And you can't break through that. Well, there's a... There's a... I've seen videos where they do it. Uh, you can't break through with a pickaxe. But there's some kind of... Uh, uh, there's some kind of method you can use dynamite or something. And it has a certain percent chance to work. And you can blow a hole. And, and then you can actually get on top. But uh, here's my little guy. He was up here in this lava deal. And he hasn't despawned, so I guess they don't. So um, I guess I got a pet. So I figured, well, I might make this into some sort of, uh, I don't know, something. So I also built out this platform here so I could get to this glowstones. Um, unfortunately... I don't have silk touch to get the whole blocks so when i farm these it gets just whatever plus if you look we're way up high so you know there's a good chance all this stuff falls to the ground uh which kind of sucks so i need to figure out a better way to uh, make sure i keep it all um but uh yeah things like that little lava pool and even this little lava pool um, are some of the dangers and that's why I wanted to go up as close as I could to the ceiling of the nether and so so then it became uh, going out now I cheated and found out where the jungle biome was so uh, if we look up here I had to go to uh, uh, 575 119 in the uh uh on the x z coordinates um the the y coordinate of 1119 negative 1119 sorry on the z coordinate so unfortunately this is not really an efficient uh way of doing it i did go down for a while and then i started zigzagging for some reason in reality i should have kept going in one direction and then done a 90 degree turn and gone the other and then made it a nice road 
but I did this kind of funniness. I don't know. I was tired when I was doing some of this stuff. Yeah, excuses, right? And I just was like, eh, fine, whatever. It doesn't matter. 10 or 11 up, one over. Yeah, we'll get there. But after I got uh, to, after a while, I thought, well, wait, this is actually kind of dumb. Um, what this does is it makes it harder to, you know, you, if you want a, an ice road, you know, you need straight shots and, and, and to get maximum speed and smoke through. So, uh, for now, though, it is what it is. Um, I'm not sure why, but I decided uh, I wanted to go up some more. So, I was actually going to go up here, and I ran into the ceiling. And I was like, well, I don't know, maybe. But then when I got up here, I, I started realizing, whoa, this is, this is kind of sucky. Now I have no choice with the zigzag because I am so far up uh, at um, Y, uh, or yeah, Y uh, 122 uh, that, you know, these, these things can uh, drop as low as 120. Or 121, sorry. So I said, well, fine, all right. I'll drop back down just where I'm I'm at the bet worst. I'm just below these. And then at th that point in time, I just said, fine, I'm going to keep going on a straight shot. Now, what I discovered was even though I'm so far up, now this is not a very big drop off, but uh, when I opened this up, there was a little gap underneath here. And it went all the way out here, so I put the stones there to mark that, yep. Not going to repair the path. And then, when I got here, um, you know, I was at where I needed to go, uh, see, my map minus, uh, 119 on the Z coordinate, so then it was like, alright, so fine. We need to go down here, and we need to smoke down. And... It would go all the way to the M and see what happens. Okay. So we got down here and we're at 524 and we need to get to 527. And I'd already encountered one fairly significant drop off. Back that away, uh, which we skipped over. And then there was another one. So I had to bridge across. Now, fortunately, the sides were still here, but there was just. Once I mined out here, the nether rack, um, yeah, it was just a big drop. And I mean, a huge drop, uh, like as in you will die, uh, kind of a drop off. And so I was like, well, um, don't really want to die. So obviously I, I built these, uh, rather than use nether rack to fill up the hole, I, use these stone blocks to just to remind me that hey you know over here there is definitely something and then it went on a little bit further and then it was like oh wow there's another bloody drop off and you know it went out over here and this is this is actually where i wanted to, to end 375 uh it's minus 120 um or minus 119 575 sorry 120 uh or 119 but because all this was drop off, uh, I was like, wow, I can't do it. And then the drop off ended right about here ish. But I said, well, I'll keep going. I'll drop down. I'll make a little room in here. Um, and then we'll pop our, our uh, nether portal in. So um, actually, let's trade this out. Let's actually, let's eat one more berry. Try to get some health. I don't think it's going to be a problem where we're at, but it's actually kind of funny uh, where we see where we go. So it is nighttime. So I'm going to go ahead and lay out a bed so we get a daytime uh, view. Okay, so it's day, and now we can see. 
So this is the jungle biome that I went to. Now I cleared out over here. There is a, I missed it. There's a, there's a, uh, there's a uh, bamboo stalk right there. But I picked up some cocoa. I picked up some of the vines. Uh, but yeah, this the the portal spawned in a tree, uh, and so it was like yikes. So uh, I'm gonna keep it up here, I think. Um, but I cleared out this way in in a little bit, and you see I've got well no that's uh, another cocoa deal. Um, but I dropped some lights and I got, there was a huge bamboo stalk back over here. And that was one I used to get back, uh, home. Um, there's a parrot down in here somewhere. I didn't see any pandas. Um, but yeah, this was the closest jungle biome and I had to cheat to get to it. And it is massively far away from, uh, where my base is. Look at that. So taking the shortcut through the uh, nether and by shortcut, you know, the long haul trek uh, through the nether uh, was the only way to get over here. Um, and it's gotta be because this was, I don't know, maybe an older seed or something. And by the time they added jungles and stuff, uh, you know, it was, you know, this was the closest that they could add it to it. Um, but, um, yeah. So, at some point, I'll come back here. At the base down here, well, I guess we could go down the vines. May as well. So I cut down, this was all tree. Um, there was two things of tree stalks. And I cut down one set. Oh, yeah, 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 on one side or the other. Because it was actually four thick. And then, yeah, we just planted this there. I'll just put that there because I don't need it. Actually, you know what? I could leave this here just uh, for fun. In case I want to build stuff out here. So, granted, there's bamboo down here. So, it's not like it's that big a deal. But I did a little bit of exploring. Like I said, there's a... There's a parrot down here that I want to get. And then I planted these just to have, uh, you know, uh, an extra uh, cheap, easy food source. Um, even though, you know, berries don't do a lot to recover your health. But it's, you know, it's better than nothing, right? Whoops, didn't mean to do that. That was stupid. Clamp. How about doing it right? There we go. Go ahead and harvest some berries here. I wasn't sure I was having a hard time navigating um, but eventually I figured out these I mean when you're in a jungle it's just like good grief you need to you definitely need to be on the high ground because you definitely lose your way quick and then these vines grow very fast so like like I had cleared all this out see what that light is that was all cleared out so the jungle is already uh recoup some of the stuff same thing over here i had cleared out all these vines with that torches and you know the vines have all come back um you know so um there's some cocoa i brought some of that back there's melons but i've already got melons so it's not like that's a big deal um but the thing is is you know the jungle uh waddles uh, or somebody i don't remember who it was did uh you know has a whole jungle base and it's really cool and and stuff um so you know i may build some stuff out here at some point in time don't know when uh but for me the jungle is less of a thing it's getting over here to that mesa biome so you know we'll definitely have to like uh clear a path and get out there because I definitely want to mine uh, some of that uh, the different stone there and then that looks like it's some kind of giant cave I, I don't know what it is um, but it's um, I don't know I'm not much of a caver but you know it still would be interesting 
And then there's a desert biome over here, so that's new. I've never been to one of those, so I don't know. Maybe there's a desert village out there. Um, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. There's something in the distance. Can't quite tell what. Um, maybe it's a building. Maybe not. I don't know. Kind of hoping it's a, like a desert village. Just for fun, and then I could actually, you know, make a base there. Although, you know, it's like, do I go overland? It would take a little while to get over there. It's not that big of a trek, but it is somewhat of a trek. Or, you know, do I go into the nether again and jet that way, I don't know, however many blocks, and, um, you know, maybe another portal appears, uh, you know, I construct another portal that comes up on the other side in that Mesa biome, you know, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's what I do, and then same thing over here, um, from this deal in the nether, uh, and then jet out that away, and end up in the desert biome, so, I think that's a parrot right where my crosshairs are, that little red thing up there, I think, it could be wrong, kind of looks like one from a distance but um it's hard to tell there was there was one that i gotta look up how to uh tame them and get them to come with you because i definitely would love to have a parrot back at uh um uh, uh back at my my uh home base uh my main town i guess you will and um you know, then I can have a parrot and uh, teach it to say the... <laughs> you know, something like that. Uh, <laughs> I got another parrot saying, but I can't find it on my board right now. So, oh, I just found it. So, so, so that's where the nether trip took me. Uh, yeah, it's pretty wild, to be honest. Um... So, I don't know. There's a lot to explore here. Um, you know, I can get more vines uh, to make mossy or, uh, yeah, to make the uh, mossy cobblestone or mossy uh, stone here. Um, like I said, you know, um, it just depends. I, I don't know. But this is way long term. I, I achieved what I wanted to achieve out here, and that's that. So, anyway. So, we will, with that, we will return home. Okay, so I'm back down. Uh, this is quite close to where the, yeah, the, the uh, original nether portal, portal originated. So, as you see, we're still way freaking high up. Um, at some point in time, I do need to try to stare my way down. Um, not necessarily to here, uh, but at some point I do need to go and try to figure out, I did kind of mine out in this area. I did find a couple of, um, netherite blocks, but I'm not, not netherite blocks, ancient debris. Woo, there's a ghast. Yep, yep, can't touch me. You just keep on going down there. I don't have a bow with me anyway, so. Plus, I don't want to lose the experience, so. But, you know, you see, there's the ground. My goodness. Um, so we'll have to figure out some way of, of, of uh, going down. And, and part of the reason for that is, uh, uh, you know, I kind of want to get to the quote-unquote surface of the, of the, uh, uh, of the nether and and then kind of be able to travel around and you know get to some of the other biomes uh uh not that this is a bad biome because the stones here a lot of people like uh for uh, uh building purposes so there's a lot of different stones uh that folks like to use um so what did i, what did I do oh yeah i think i was i think i was like uh doing just some exploring and stuff like i said i found a couple pieces of ancient debris my first two pieces was actually pretty cool 
and um, looks like we're going to go out in this video. Uh, attacking more of these guys. These are the only nether creatures I've fought. I've, I've run into zombie piglins, but... Um, Oh, come on, seriously. But I haven't attacked any of them. And uh, work is uh, pinging me because why not? Because they can't live without me. So. so I think that, as they say, is that. And we will um, go ahead and resecure uh, the uh, entrance here. Just to prevent. Uh, prevent anyone from going uh, into our nether portal and appearing in our nice little base that I love so much. So, all right. Well, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you like it. If you do, give me a subscribe. All the other fun stuff, and we'll see you in the next video.